Today, we will behold the power of someone who actually stops complaining. Oh yeah, we've all been guilty of it, haven't we? But what if I told you that complaining is like a joy-sucking vampire? It's time to channel our inner powers and shift towards gratitude and positivity. Prepare to become a magnet for good vibes and the ultimate embodiment of awesomeness. Are you ready to break free from the clutches of complaining and infuse your life with gratitude and positivity? We'll brace yourself for a mindset makeover as we explore the transformative power of stopping complaining, as beautifully explained in the book, A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. Get ready to shift gears and embark on a journey toward a more joyful and abundant existence. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy Owen. On this channel, we talk about having a growth mindset, healthy habits, fitness, and even some reality transurfing. And today we are talking about stopping complaining. If you like today's video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you never miss a video from me. Eckhart Tolle reveals. This quote, complaining is one of the ego's favorite strategies for strengthening itself. Oh my goodness. When we complain, we focus on what is wrong, perpetuating a cycle of negativity and dissatisfaction. However, by consciously choosing to stop complaining, we open the doors to a realm of gratitude, positivity, and most importantly, personal empowerment. Let's dive into some practical exercises to help you break free from the habit of complaining and cultivate a mindset of gratitude. Number one, complaint-free awareness. Begin by observing your thoughts and words throughout the day. Notice moments when you find yourself complaining or focusing on what's lacking. Simply bring awareness to these instances without judgment. This act of observation lays the foundation for transformation. Number two, I talk about this all the time, gratitude practice. Create a gratitude journal or use a gratitude app to record three things you are grateful for each day. Cultivate a mindset of appreciation for even the smallest blessings. As you focus on the positive aspects of your life, the grip of complaining gradually loosens and gratitude becomes your default state. If you'd like to know more about the community where I teach growth mindset, healthy habits, fitness, and even some reality transurfing, be sure to sign up in the link in the description below or visit www.kathyowen.com backslash coaching. I sure hope to see you there. Number three, positive reframing. When faced with a challenging situation or a negative thought, practice reframing it in a more positive light. Look for the silver linings, lessons, or growth opportunities within each experience. Train your mind to see the possibilities and find gratitude even in the face of adversity. And number four, conscious communication. Pay attention to your words and how they affect your internal state and the energy of those around you. Choose words that uplift, inspire, and empower. Engage in conscious communication by expressing appreciation, encouragement, and kindness to others and yourself. Eckhart Tolle wisely reminds us, see if you can catch yourself complaining in either speech or thought about a situation you find yourself in, what other people do or say, your surroundings, your life situation, even the weather. Through conscious awareness, we reclaim our power and choose to focus on the positive aspects of life. As you embrace the power of stopping complaining and shift towards gratitude and positivity, you will witness a remarkable transformation in your perspective, your relationships, and your overall well-being. The energy you emanate will draw more blessings into your life and inspire those around you. All right, this is the end of a four-part series from the book, A New Earth. And I'm going to include all four episodes in this final 
episode, it will be listed as a playlist on my YouTube channel. But as we reach the end of our transformative journey through the teachings of A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, I promise you it won't be the last time we talk about this book. We stand in awe of the profound impact it holds for personal growth, for relationships, and actually for the world at large. The wisdom we have explored, including non-resistance, understanding the pain body, letting go of attachments, and conscious communication has the power to unlock our true potential and create a ripple effect of positive change. By embracing non-resistance, we open ourselves to the beauty and wisdom of the present moment. Through understanding the pain body, we transcend suffering and experience liberation. Letting go of attachments empowers us to release those attachments and make space for new beginnings. By stopping complaining, we cultivate gratitude and positivity, transforming our mindset and the energy we radiate. As we embody presence, non-judgment, and conscious communication, our relationships flourish, creating a ripple effect that touches the lives of those around us. Imagine a world where empathy, compassion, and understanding are the guiding principles of our interactions. Through our personal transformation, we contribute to the collective shift towards a more harmonious and compassionate society. Throughout this journey, we have witnessed the power that lies within each of us, the power to choose our thoughts, words, and actions. We have learned that true happiness and fulfillment stem not from external circumstances, but from the depths of our own being. Now, as we conclude this transformative exploration, I invite you to embrace the possibilities that lie ahead, embody the teachings of the Book of a New Earth, and continue your journey of personal growth and transformation. Share your experiences, insights, and newfound wisdom with others, for in doing so, you inspire and uplift those around you. Remember, personal growth is an ongoing adventure. Be patient with yourself, celebrate your progress, and honor the unique path you are on. Trust the transformative power of the book, A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, and the infinite potential within you. Let us move forward with courage, authenticity, and an unwavering commitment to embrace our true selves. Together, we can create a ripple effect of love, compassion, and positive change that expands far beyond our own lives. Thank you for joining me on this remarkable journey, and may you continue to grow, thrive, and radiate the light of transformation wherever you go. All right, that's my episode for today. I trust that you found it helpful. If you know someone who can benefit from this, please share it with them. And until next time, I will see you next time. Peace out and namaste.